get into the new stuff, shall we? Uh, so firstly, I'm going to go over a markup summary. So let's jump back into review here. I'm going to just close out uh, these drawings I was working on. So one of the examples I used for why batch markup summary uh, is so great was uh, the design review process and creating task lists. So let's take a look briefly at how uh, creating these uh, markup uh, summaries worked in the past. Uh, so in the past, I would have all my various uh, one-page PDFs that I'm working with, for example. So this is a one-page PDF. Uh, I've got various different markups on here. You can see on the page and everything is tracked in the markups list. Um, and I've got that responsibility column set up. And I can uh, sort and filter by responsibility however I would like. Um, and then from there, export that uh, PDF summary. So not a terribly uh, you know, time-consuming process. Pretty easy. But when you're thinking about working with lots and lots and lots of different PDFs and you're having to do this over and over and over, that's a big waste of time, right? That's not very user-friendly. So this is why we introduced uh, batch markup summary. So this allows you to generate lots and lots of summaries for many documents all at once in one batch process. So let's take a look at how this works. So uh, firstly, as with many batch uh, functions, you're going to start with file, batch, and in this case, summary. So pretty straightforward, I'm going to add all the various files that I'd like to generate a summary from. So here we go. I've got some, some sheets here. Uh, these are the ones that I want to create that summary from. Uh, so let's just load all, the, all those sheets in there. So next right here. And then you can define uh, what columns you would like to appear on this summary. So if you wanted everything on there, uh, that's perfectly fine. In this case, I don't really need all this information, so I'm going to unselect this. Let's do subject, page, uh, status, author, date, um, comments, and responsibility. So that looks good. Uh, let's move onwards. And in this next page, you can actually define specific filters. So if I wanted to filter out only specific subjects, for example, I could do so. For the purposes of this demo, let, let's not do any filters. Let's just have everything on there. And then after filtering, you can also define sorting. So in this case, I'm generating a task list for, for various folks on my team. So let's sort first by whose responsibility it is. And then I'd like to sort by their status. And then I'd like to sort by subject. Uh, and so on and so forth. I can continue, continue setting up uh, all these different uh, um, sorting um, hierarchies, but let's, let's start with that. So next, I can define what file format I'd like to export the summary as. Uh, here at Bluebeam, we're big proponents of PDFs, obviously, so I'll stick with the PDF format. Uh, I've got this title uh, that has been created right here. Let's just change this to uh, Steve summary, and I'd like to go ahead and add my date to my title. So I'm going to pin the date there. And this next thing is really cool. So you're not just limited to the, the reporting templates built within review. You can create your own templates as well. So check this out. I've got a template right here for BG construction that I would like to use for this report. So I'm going to load this template and essentially just use these little uh, boxes right here to define where I would like the report placed on the page. So that looks good. And uh, let's title this my Microdesk template. All right. Uh, so it looks great. And then I'm going to go ahead and include hyperlinks. So I want this report to be all hyperlinked together whenever I generate it. Now before I run this, I want to point out this save batch and save config buttons. So what these do is, let's say that I was going to run this report on the exact same documents over and over and over uh, as I'm updating them. If I was going to do that, I could save the batch. Saving the batch is going to save this 
particular specific group of documents so I can continue running reports. Alternatively, save config is only going to save my settings and my configuration, which I can then apply to whatever documents I want, maybe not just these specific ones. Um, so both of these are options for you uh, and really handy as you're running these reports. So uh, with that, let's run this report, shall we? So it's just going to be a few moments uh, as it's running through these, uh, these items. So we've got 148 markups uh, that it's placing onto this report for us. And here we go. So there's that, uh, that report. It's placed onto this template that we set up before. Um, and you can see all of this data it looks very similar to just the normal uh, markup summary reports you would generate for single page PDFs. But I've got this really nice clean format with all this data from these various uh, documents. You can see on this thumbnails tab that uh, I've got actually 11 pages worth of reports. So um, really makes this whole process of generating these reports a lot more user friendly, especially with those separate documents. So very, very cool stuff.